In this video, I'm going to be building a modular shop storage system. And what I mean by modular is there will be two different sets of drawers, banks of drawers. And so you'll be able to add in as many of the lower units and as many of the upper units that you can fit into one space in your shop. Uh, for me, I just recently went through a shop rearrangement, so I have a corner that I freed up. And this is the perfect place for me to add in these two banks of drawers. I'm going to be adding in two of the lowers and one of the uppers. And so that's what I mean by modular. You can kind of mix and match these things however you need. So before I turned the camera on, I broke down the sheets of plywood with a circular saw and my table saw. So you could do it either way. And we're just going to construct this whole thing with pocket holes. So it should be fun. I've got a set of plans for this and also a website article for you to read. It goes into more details on the different different things that I used and the techniques and methods that I went about uh, using to build everything that I did so be sure to check that out it's linked down in the description uh, for the website article and the plans the construction of the drawers are all the same basically all you're doing is just screwing together four pieces of wood with the exception of different size uh, drawers and that's all according to plan but the first thing that I do is just pre-drill and insert a couple of screws on one corner uh, of the drawer bottom down into the drawer sides. I do the same thing on the opposite corner. Uh, this kind of keeps the drawer bottom from moving around. That way I can go around the perimeter now and pre-drill and insert all of the screws. And that's done. It's pretty simple. Now to mount these drawers into place, I'm going to be using a jig from Rockler. Rockler is supporting this video, so thanks to Rockler for that. The jig really made it easy for me to install these drawers because I don't typically install a lot of drawers or drawer slides. So this was really easy for me. I just put the drawer slide into the jig, I lock it in place with the slider on the side and line it up with my mark. Make sure to hold a firm grip on the edge there and then put in a couple of screws and that holds it. And now I can go back and put in more screws if I need to and put the drawer slide together. And now I'm ready to install the drawers. Here in this scene, you'll see a yardstick, and I'm using that as a spacer to give me the space required uh, between each drawer for each drawer to move freely. Now, in most cases, you'll probably want more than that, but I wanted to maximize the drawer depth. And so I just pull the drawer slide out just a little bit to the edge and secure it on both sides. Now, I need to move the spacer to the back of the drawer. As you can see, it's starting to drag the one below it out with it. So I just move the ruler to the back of the drawer, secure the drawer slide, and that's it. Just make sure you install the screws along the full length of the drawer slide itself to support the weight capacity. Now installing the drawer fronts, um, it's just a matter of getting everything spaced how you want it um, in the position that you want it to kind of get those clean lines, clamp it in place and just pop in a few screws from the inside of the drawer and that's it. To install the top, I needed to go back and add a few more pocket holes. I failed to do this before everything was put together, and that's okay. It can be done at this stage in the game. But it, I wanted to have the pocket holes underneath instead of having screws from the top side. I didn't want to see any screws, so I've measured and I've cut the top. Now, this, these are two lower units. The plan is one lower and an upper unit but I've got two lowers and I wanted to have a solid top instead of two individual tops. So it was just my personal preference. So now I can go in, secure the top with the pocket holes that I drilled and install the drawers back into place. Now this is pretty much done except for the fact that I need to go back and do something about drawer pulls. I can actually access these from pulling on the sides of the drawer, but I'll add in drawer pulls eventually after I figure out what I want to do. Now this whole project was made with pure bond plywood and the pure bond was nice enough to partner with me on this project and so they are the ones that are providing the material for this project i use pure bond on pretty much every shop project and any plywood project that i've got going on i've made some kids furniture stuff from this from pure bond plywood i love the layered look you don't see any voids it's eco-friendly and you can get it from home depot so this is one of my top choices as far as plywood goes now the upper cabinet went together just like the lower cabinet uh, this is the, basically the shell here I've got to go in now 
and add in the drawer slides. So what I'm doing here, I'm l looking at the plan and I've come over and I'm transferring those measurements from the plan to the actual uh, cabinet that I'm, that I'm building here. And so the marks that I'm making are where the bottom of the drawer slides are gonna go. Now I made a mistake and I'm not gonna show it, but I, I've installed all of these drawer slides in the wrong place. So I had to take them all out, put them all back in. Uh, which is not a big deal, but you just need to pay need to pay attention to where your drawer slides are going to mount, and just make sure you follow the plan, and you should be okay. So this went together just like the lowers, as I said, um, using the same kind of method as far as putting those in. Uh, the drawers are a lot smaller, so they're a lot easier to install than the big drawers. But I got to tell you, this whole project was much needed in my shop. I love organization. I love storage, and this has got a ton of storage. I've got three big drawers on each of these lower cabinets, so that's six drawers total. And now I've got eight upper drawers that were designed to hold screws, hardware, and that kind of thing. So I'm really looking forward to using this and getting it packed out and just organized. And so this is going to be a great addition to the shop. Be sure to check out the links down in the description. There you will find the products that I used from Rockler and Purebond. But you'll also find a link to the website article that will take you to my website. I'll go into more detail on this project there. And I also have the project plans linked in the article. The project plans are also linked down in the description uh, for your convenience. So if you decide to build this for yourself in your shop, I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback leave me a comment down below as to what you think if you're not a subs subscriber to this channel please subscribe and hit that like button and as always i thank you for watching and we'll see you next time